Uh, recently I donated my medals um, to the club and uh, no skin off my nose. Um, I've always said the, the club owes me nothing. I owe the club everything. They gave me an opportunity, had a great career here and it was great to be a one club player. Um, there's my Norm Smith medal, um, the grand final medal of the day and also my Copeland Trophy from that year. So, uh, and I think I even threw in a pair of uh, boots that I had um, you know, coppered or bronzed to, uh, yeah, so that was one of the um, uh, grand final boots. I wore two sets that day, so which one it was, I'm not too certain, but a lot of people said there's a lot of other bronze boots going around the world, but um, no, nah, so as I said, it's an honor to do that. Um, they were sitting in the cupboard at home doing nothing, so at least someone might get a little bit of joy out of it um, in the future. Yeah, there's a lot of memories. Um, oh, look, probably the build-up was massive. Uh, the quarter-time fight, which is probably one of the biggest in AFL uh, history. As a matter of fact, it was the first year of the AFL. Well, Tony Shaw has been an inspirational player for the Magpies for a long time. This is probably his best year on a personal note and he's going to achieve his finest moment in football very, very soon. Yeah, I think one thing that stood out was uh, about 15 minutes ago in the last quarter, Craig Kelly ran at a contest and um, the ball came out and there was a ball up and I was sitting on my backside and I looked at him and said, well done, even though we had the game sort of sewn up. And that sort of stood in my mind at that end, at, at, at that stage. But um, of course, there's Darren Mullane holding the ball up, uh, which was great. Oh, then up the siren, uh, went down on all fours, and it was a bloody relief that we hadn't lost again. And uh, yeah, the after after party was pretty big too.